Somewhere at the edge of the world lies the lost fortress of awesomeness. All those who seek it have perished. All except one fearless young adventurer. His name? Ash Willema. Famed for his courage, his honor, and his, uh, his... His, uh, his ability to make split-second decisions. And this is the story of his quest. No! Look, Shima! I drew the story about the fort. You know, the one Ryan saw in the forest? There are no forts in Arizona. He's making it up. No, it's true. He was out hiking with his dad, out by the ridge. There's a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. That's where they saw it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, wouldn't it be awesome if we went looking for it, too? We could camp out for the night and, I, I don't know, do other cool stuff, like, uh... Like... We could light a fire and roast marshmallows. Mmm. Now, if you want to get outdoors, why don't you go ride your bike? And while you're at it, go get the mail. Besides, we can't this weekend because I- Because you're busy, like always. I bet my dad would have gone with me. You have no idea what kind of man your father turned out to be. All right, if you say so, whatever. Hey, buddy, you be careful on that road now. It'll be dark soon and you ain't got lights. Go get the mail, Ash. Screw this. Thunderstorms ahead, climbing to 30,000 feet. continues on foot. No, this, this can't be right. Ah, oh, Mom. If you'd come with me, we could have found it by now. Gotta be something I can eat. Come to Ash. I can wait. Definitely. Sure I can. Hello? What the hell 
was that? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh crap! There you go. By the ridge. You're a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. No way. <laughs> Gotta get water. Gotta get warm. I'd eat my own arm right now. Oh, man. Please let there be a medicine cabinet. the news. Hate to say it, but we've lost them in the woods. <sighs> Send out search parties and notify local radio stations. I want everyone in the country knowing the name Halt. Roger that. <sighs> the Halts. Think we're gonna catch them? I'd say 50-50. The next 24 hours are critical, so it just depends on how smart they are. I should stay inside.
<sighs> That's the woodman's cottage. It was my mom's, so don't drop it. Are you the one who found me? You're in pretty rough shape. You got babbling about some cabin or something. Are you lost? No. I, uh, I got hit by a car. Where? In the forest? On the highway. I must have hit my head and wondered. Oh. Wow. Well, maybe I should call 911. I'd drive you to the hospital, but I'm not supposed to use a car. No. I really don't like hospitals. Or any of that. Well, okay, me neither. I don't think anyone does, but... Please, just no doctors. Well, I'm glad you're alive. I wasn't sure for a while there. Are you okay? You went to Two Rock High, right? I, uh, yeah, the high school. I went for a while. Thought so. You used to eat lunch alone under that gnarly tree by the parking lot, right? The juniper. Yeah, that was me. Tell me your name again. It's Dean. Hey, Dean. I'm Vanessa. Look, could I rest here a while? My head, it's... I'll stay out of the way, I promise. Hmm. I guess I don't mind the company. But you have to be gone before eight, or my dad will kill us both. And just so we're clear, I once kicked a guy in the nuts so hard he swallowed his own tongue. <laughs> Good to know. Here. These are all, but they're clean. Thank you. <laughs> so, why'd you leave TRH? You got sick of Mrs. Campbell always sending everyone to detention? Nah, I dropped out. That makes two of us, by the way. I mean, technically I was pulled out so I could go to a lame Catholic school and be told what to wear and what to think, but what was your excuse? Got tired of getting D's? It's better than F's, isn't it? You get F's if you don't try. D means you tried and you failed. See? Much better. BB, where's my sandwich? I'll be right there! Who was that? Oh, it's just my Mima. Are you hungry? You're gonna behave yourself today, right, Mima? Hang on, I forgot my cigarettes. You haven't smoked in years. Haven't I? Nope. We have some new developments in what police are now calling the Desert Dream Massacre. We knew one of the shooters was killed at the scene, but it's been confirmed. Three more are still on the loose. You okay with ham and cheese? Oh, none of those disgusting sliced singles. The gunman who died was identified as Dale Holt of Two Rock, who had a prior conviction for assault. Baby, I was listening to that. Mima, we have a visitor. Um, hello there. Hang on, I know that voice. Oh, Lord Almighty, you're home. Is it really you, Maddie? Uh, hi, Mima. I missed you. My grandbaby. Where have you been all this time? Oh, I was, um... On an exchange program, living with another family. Here, let me help. So, Matt, when you were with that other family, what did you do all day? 
I'm just curious, since you weren't at school and all. I had a job, driving deliveries for a hardware shop. Oh, did you like it? It was all right, it got me outside. Anyway, I didn't get a choice. Ma, that is the ma of the family I was with. She said I gotta earn. That sucks, you're too young for that. Legal working age is 16, I'm two years in. Matthew, you're gonna get an earful from your father being away from home for so long. Why would you even say that? Do you know how much hell your father's been through losing your mother? The two of you don't understand what it's like for him. Could you try not taking his side for once? <sighs> I'm gonna go listen to murder, she wrote. Welcome home, Maddie. She used to be my role model. She had a motorcycle license, she knew karate. Now she either can't find her pants or can't remember how to put them on. Matt, Matthew, he's your... My brother. <laughs> he died in a car accident. And we have the same voice or something? He was soft-spoken, like you. People thought he didn't have anything to say. Usually, he just wasn't seeing it. My brother died too. Kind of recent. How? He got shot. Fuck. That's... Ugh, that's horrible. I know. Look, do you mind if I study for a little bit? Finals start next week, and I haven't opened a book all semester. Can I help clean up? Be my guest. You know... You were smart to drop out. I mean, do we really need to know three ways Andrew Jackson changed the U.S. presidency? Don't think so. If this comes up, I'm just going to skip it. So, were you close? Huh? To your brother. Once, he shot me six times with a BB gun. But he looked out for me when Pa was drinking. So I guess it depended on the day. Your dad, he's a drunk or something? Was a drunk. Now he's fighting for his life in a VA hospital. Damn, your luck's as bad as mine. What happened? He hung himself, or tried to. I stopped him. Jesus, Dean. This is a, a horrible thing to say, but sometimes I wish my dad would die or whatever. Come on, you don't mean that. You'd understand if you knew him. He's a control freak. Hey, I hate my family sometimes too. If it ain't my pa drunk or my brother's picking on me, it's everyone just mad at each other for no reason. See, you get it. Anyway, sorry that got so dark. <laughs> hey, you wanna help me study? Oh, I don't think I'll be much help. <laughs> yeah, you will. That's always better with someone else. Okay, sure. Me